Hello everybody, welcome back to another tutorial video in our WebSocket tutorial series. In this one we are going to be creating our frontend and we are going to be subscribing to the topics that we have created in the previous video and we're going to see how that actually works. As you can see, I have created two files here, which we do not, did not have in the previous video, but we are going to go over it, so do not worry about that. Uh, they are in the resources static uh, folder and there are two files called index.html and scripts.js. In the index.html, this is the content, it's quite simple. We have some imports for uh, bootstrap, jQuery, WebSockets, stuff like that, and the scripts file that we created. Uh, the content is quite simple. We have one container with two rows. And inside of the rows, the first one is just with a form where we can send some message. And the second one is where a table where we can uh, receive this message. Um, this is not really that important, but you should basically just copy paste it. And this project will anyway be available on uh, GitLab, on GitHub. So you can just uh, copy paste it from there. You don't have to type it out. I just want to explain um, what exactly we have here. And now if you look at our script.js file, you can see uh, that we have a stomp client here. We also have on ready method. So whenever our page is ready, we are called connect method, which is creating a new socket on our web socket um, endpoint, which we created in our configuration. And we are creating a stomp client over this socket. And we are basically with a stomp client, once it's connected, we are subscribing to slash topics slash messages, which is the also the endpoint we created. And yeah, we also have a show message um, method. So whenever we receive something on this topic, we show it and we basically append a table row inside of that table that we have on our front end. And we also have a method to send the message. So this will be called whenever you click the send message button. So let's start our application and just uh, see how it looks like. You can also copy paste this from um, GitHub. It's really not much. And yeah, let's open up our application. It's on localhost 8080. And if I open the developers console, so you can do that by pressing F12. We also have a network tab. So let me just refresh the page. And here you can see that we have a WebSocket. And here you can see that we are uh, subscribe to some topic like topic messages, which is exactly what we want. And in the console, we can also see that we are connected and subscribe to only this topic. So let's send some message. So like whatever doesn't matter, let's just send it. And we can see that the message is being sent and that we got back our content. So this is we are sending a message on the message endpoint and we are receiving a message back. So basically, if you go back to our controller, uh, you can see this. So we have slash message endpoint. Uh, by, by the way, in the previous tutorial, I had two S's here, so three S's here and I removed one, so that was a mistake. So just make sure that you have the naming correctly. And so we are receiving on this endpoint and we are sending back via this endpoint. So it's a bit of a different thing. And also that's about it. Basically here we have thread sleep and we have our uh, wait time and then we just uh, respond with some message. Basically you can send here whatever you want. Let's now see how, how we can do this a bit differently. So in this uh, first one, we are using some annotations. We have mappings and topics like that. But what if um, your application is um, doing something, I don't know, like for example, we have a timer, uh, we're using that timer service that we did in the previous tutorial and it's calculating something in the database and sending you updates. You want updates, you want your front end to automatically show you an update, how much entries you have in your database or whatever, doesn't matter, or you're receiving something on one endpoint and then you want to uh, just show it. So you don't want to use this. How, so how can you do that? Um, let's create a service. Let's name it, um, I don't know, WebSocket service or whatever. You can name it whatever you want. 
and in our WebSocket service, uh, we are going to annotate it, of course, with a head service so that Spring knows that this is our service. You can also do it with a component. I think that would even make more sense. But yeah, inside of this service, we're going to be using something called simple messaging template. So we are going to uh, inject it here. And let's add a constructor and auto-wired and let's create a method public method void method and in this method we are just going to be receiving some message this is just a, a string and now let's uh, create our response message because this is what's being expected on the topic. Let's uh, put this message here and this is our response. And we are going to use the messaging template that we have to convert and send the response. So we're converting and send it. And the destination is basically the same one as before. It's topic slash messages. So we are sending on topic slash messages. And the messaging template can probably be final. And yep, that's about it. Now the next thing is we need a controller. So we need a REST controller. Let's create that. Let's create a new uh, WebSocket controller. REST controller. And inside of the REST controller, let's create a post mapping on some um, endpoint send message public void uh, send message and this is going to be taking in the request body uh, which is the message and we also need uh, to inject to the service that we just created and with the service we are going to notify the front end with the message get message content and that's about it we can start our application basically this should work i'm running it in the debug mode and i'm just going to copy paste the endpoint and let's refresh our front end actually did that for us which is super nice and you can see that we are subscribed on topic let's send some message here one two three four we are sending it after one second we get it there is a one second delay because we entered it in our code and you can see that this still works which is nice now we go to postman i actually had some tries here so i'm just going to replace this with the endpoint that we are using which is send message and here I have the JSON value of our message object, which just has a property called message content, and I have entered uh, my postman message. So if I send this, I should be able to see it. As you can see, it's instant. We don't have a, a delay here because we are using a different endpoint. Let's um, just to send again. And as you can see, it works. Perfect. Basically, that's it. We took a look at two different ways how we can uh, send stomp messages using those fancy endpoints and using the normal uh, REST controller. Of course, uh, in the REST controller here, you don't actually need the controller itself. You can, uh, as I said, you can do, for example, whatever you want. Like, for example, if you have a timer service and you're querying your database and you want to send something to the front end, you can use this. So you can just send it. Of course, if nobody is subscribed to this, nobody will receive the message. So like if I would enter some blah, blah topic here, nobody will receive this because nobody is subscribed, nobody is listening to it. If you have multiple clients, like multiple people have opened your index page, they will all receive this message. And you can, of course, with the messaging template, you have um, different options. So you can convert it to some specific user destination and stuff like that. So you'll have configurations like this send timeout, which is super nice. Um, yeah, you have many things. I just want to show you the basics. So you can take a look at this code and you can see uh, 
what's up here and if something is unclear uh, just do let me know and I will try to explain it for you and maybe make some additional videos but for now this is it I just wanted to keep it short show you the basics and yeah if you are having some questions some doubts or something just let me know I will try to answer them and if you like the video please do like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will see you in one of the next ones